Hello. So, a few hours ago, um, Roger Federer announced his retirement. And I'm a huge tennis fan. And, uh, yeah, it was shitty when I heard the news. It was, it was like, um, you kind of don't expect, like, I, you know he's 41. And he's had all those injuries with his knee and problems for the last few years. So. But there's always that kind of hope. You're like, yeah, man. <laughs> he can kind of do it. And I kind of had that hope in my head. I was like, could he come back and win another, you know? And, you know, time gets everyone. That's the reality of it, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, it just, it's sad. It's sad because um, I, I, I'm sure he wanted to come back himself. And I think he thought he could maybe do one more Grand Slam. But just the problems, you know, um, that's got to be difficult, you know, so uh, I'm sad, I'm, sad. <laughs> I'm genuinely sad, because I love Roger Federer, he's my favourite tennis player, um, and he's probably the tennis player I watch the most, uh, you know, there's, I love Nadal and I love Djokovic and I love other other guys but when Federer is playing I always watch or always try and watch not that I watch everything but um, he had some fucking great matches like I'd, personally for me I think he's the best tennis player for me I know people like I don't know can you put that much stock in records like on paper I'm sure by the end of it Djokovic will probably have the greatest record on paper but as a player I think Federer just his style is so elegant and so beautiful and just he's like an artist to watch whereas like Djokovic is just like a wall like anything you hit against him he's hitting it back to you and I like Djokovic and I like Nadal but for me Federer just had I don't know he just said that something extra Maybe that's because I'm biased and he's my favourite. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just sad to... to it's sad to not, you know, watch Roger Federer anymore in a, in a Grand Slam because you're expecting, you know, he's been a constant for that many years. And those three guys in particular, you know, Djokovic, Federer and Nadal, and at a point, you could say Murray, but those three are kind of the constant. Just, it's unbelievable. You know, it's just unbelievable. And when all when all those guys, the rest of those guys leave, there's going to be a huge hole. I'm sure it will be filled, but uh, I don't know. There's something about those three guys. Just the rivalry is unbelievable. And... Um, yeah, let me see. I have some of his stats here, which is crazy. So, 1,526 single matches, and he won 1,251. 310 weeks at number one, 103 titles, 20 Grand Slams. It's crazy, man. I think Djokovic has the most at number one. But, um, yeah, I don't know. But I always hate that go talk because you know like on any day uh, like you know Federer could beat Djokovic and Djokovic could beat Federer and Federer could beat Nadal and Nadal could beat Federer the the, the go thing is always a, a strange one you know it's it's like I don't know or do records mean you're the greatest ever you could be the greatest ever and you could have been marred by injuries and you could shit could happen to you you could retire earlier you know what I mean there's all that kind of things so so for me he's my favourite tennis player um, if you had to push me on who's the greatest tennis player ever uh, I would probably say Federer, but I think Djokovic by the end just might 
do you know he's like 35 and he's still playing incredible so you know pe- people just have this thing that they don't like Djokovic so they won't give him credit for how great he is but the guy's fucking unbelievable but stylistically I just love the way Roger plays I just love it or played I should I say well plays he still plays but you know and and sad thing is I wanted to go to I've never seen him live and I was thinking for Wimbledon next year I'm like I'm going to go to Wimbledon and I'm going to see Roger because I thought oh, it might be his last one but that's not going to happen and I kind of would, I'd love if he went out and played the Labour Cup and played fucking amazing and he thought oh maybe you know but we, you know there's always those kind of things but uh yeah, he had some great matches. I remember that last final he had with Djokovic in Wimbledon, and he was three match points up, and I was like, oh, come on, bro, come on. You know? <laughs> oh, just some of those moments. But then he had that, that amazing final against uh, Roddick that went on fucking forever. That was just incredible, man. Like, just so many great moments. I remember watching the Australian Open when he bet Nadal, and he hadn't... I don't think he won a Grand Slam in about five years at that stage. It was such an amazing moment the way he came back in the final set and just fucking, yeah, man. Just amazing career. Great tennis player. One of the goats. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sad. I'm sad he, he won't be playing anymore. But um, yeah, what a fucking career. So... Cheers, Roger. I know you won't be watching this, but thanks for everything. (laughs) 